What's up guys, today we're going to learn Your Power by Billie Eilish. We've basically got one progression that we're going to use for this whole song with a few different variations, so let's get right into it. That's basically what we're playing for the whole song. It's got three chords. F major seven played twice for two bars, then A minor for one bar, and then E minor for another bar. So our basic strumming pattern on our F major seven is gonna be down, down, up, down, up. So. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down up, down, up. And then you're basically gonna repeat that twice on F major seven, then go to A minor, and then go to E minor. So you can basically play that for the entire song, but we're gonna change it up in a few spots. So to start off, if you want to make this a little bit more like the actual song and a little more complicated, you can add in some of these hammer-ons. So what I'm playing there is this F major 7, but then I'm hammering on the second finger on the third string. So that just changes it up a little bit and adds in this extra little spice to your chord there. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the A minor, except this time it's the second finger on the fourth string. So. So then when you add that in with the F major 7, A minor, E minor, you've got this. So there's our first variation, and you can play that in the intros where it's just musical. Then, moving into the verses, we're going to palm mute our strings and play the same progression, just to make the vocal stand out a little bit more and bring that guitar into a nice percussive palm muted kind of rhythm. So, now we're going to do take the side of our palm, put it on the edge of the guitar right here on the bridge, and we're going to sort of mute the strings. So they sort of ring out, but not fully. And then you're just going to play that same chord progression. And you can see how that gives you a nice percussive kind of feel to really keep that rhythm going on. You're going to play the progression with the palm muting for the verse, and then we're going to open it up for the chorus and change up the strumming just a little bit. So instead of our strumming pattern we've been using, your F major 7 in the chorus is going to use this strumming pattern. So the A minor and the E minor are the same. And then our F major seven, we're doing down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So that's the only difference. And you can just play that part for the choruses. And then when you add the palm muted part for the verse to make it percussive and quieter, 
and then you open it up for the fuller chorus, then that'll give you a variation that makes your song a lot more interesting to listen to. With that chord progression and those variations, you can play this entire song. If you want to make it even more interesting, you can play that lead part that's played at the beginning. It helps if you have someone else to play with you, but if not, you can do this one on your own. So we're gonna try this one out now. It's not very difficult. You're just playing this lead part over that same chord progression. So on its own, it sounds like this. So that's the main riff right there. All it is, first string to second string, eight, seven, and then go to the second string, five, six. And then we're going to play that three times and we're going to have a different ending note all three times. So the first time. You're going up to that eighth fret on the second string with your pinky. And the second time you're going down here to the seventh fret on the third string. And then this third time, you're going to go from the 8th fret on the 2nd string to the 7th fret on the 3rd string. And then the 4th repetition, you're just going to do this. So there's a few cool things I did right there. You're going to start and slide up to the ninth fret with your 3rd string, and you're going to do and then go to the seventh. And then you add a little vibrato at the end there. And all that is is kind of wiggling the string back and forth to give it this warbly sound. Add that to the end and you've got this full riff. Try that one out, play it in between or before or after your chord progression, or try it out with someone you know that plays guitar too. And if you've got all those parts, you can play this entire song. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you want a chance to win a free $1,000 guitar, you can subscribe to my Patreon, link in the description below. We're giving away a guitar at 100 patrons. Subscribe to see more videos like this, and I'll see you soon.